Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. Yep, that's right. We have the H King P51B Mustang Berlin Express. So this can be a gas or electric airplane. We're going to put a electric engine in this one. I'll have links to everything down below in the description. Make sure you check it out. But here you can see the specs, wingspan, 1580, length, motor, glow engine, what it would take, six channel minimum, with at least five servos. This is all balsa and light ply construction, fiberglass cowl, everything's pre-hinged. Very cool, electric retracts, should be fun. Everybody loves a P51, right? So it just came, it's in the box. Here's all the goodies I have to put it together. Um, we'll go through those in a second, but uh, let me get the top off the box and we'll show you what's in there. Okay, we took the top off the box. Here you can see how it's packaged. It's got a really thick, Cardboard stuff there. Here's how it will come to you. So, I haven't even taken anything out yet. I did trim some of the plastic tape here. There we go. But I figured I'd show you. How it comes packaged. Some people are interested in stuff like that. I want to know how it survives the trip. Get your horizontals, elevator, your rudder here. Down here we have the wings. So those are the wings. Get a bunch of accessories here, a couple things in here. So we'll get everything out, out of the wrap and on the table here, and then I'll show you what everything looks like. Okay, we got everything out of the package. Just kind of checking it out. Um, using my awesome cruising stand here. The thing works for everything. So here's the fuselage. Top hatch, just magnets on, so you can get in there to switches and whatnot. Um, cowl already has cool looking exhaust stacks in it. even test fit it yet. Um, got your wing joiner, you got a drop tank you can build. Here's some of the fuel accessory stuff here. Fuel tank, engine mount, um, hardware bolts. Here's some decals, some extra covering and stuff here which is cool. Um, the manual. Here's one of the wings. I didn't quite have enough space on the table here for both the wings. But uh, here's one of them. Looks cool. It's got all the panel lines printed in. Everything is hinged here. It's got kind of the gun ports there on the leading edge. Here's the bottom. The retracts are already pre-installed. Electric retracts. It's got the wire in here. Little string pull to get your um, aileron servo wire out. Everything is free and good. Stars and bars. Got a plastic wing tip on there. So yeah, so obviously you'll we're gonna glue the wing joiner in and glue the wings together, and then they'll be a one-piece deal, and then they'll bolt on. So just wanted to set that here to show you. We've got the rudder. So the rudder, everything's pre-hinged on the wings. Rudder and elevator are not uh, because of how you gotta install them. Obviously, the elevator has to go through the fuse and then the, these will be on each side. So, there's how that looks. Um, this is the motor that I got with it. It's a SK5055380. You can see it's a pretty big boy. It's what we'll be using. The links will be down in the description for all these items. We've got a big Turnigy 6S5000 pack here. So we're going to run her off. And then we've got some servos here. Um, we'll show more of those once we get it installed. And then we have a propeller. So that should do it. So we're going to get on to some building. Um, getting servos installed and everything put together. Motor on it. Manuals are pretty thorough. Tells you all the stuff that you're going to need. 
lots of pictures. Pretty easy to understand. You're going to need some glue and stuff, obviously, to glue things on here and some basic tools to set up the linkages, push rods, that kind of jazz. So, so we got a bunch of building to do. Here's the push rods. I haven't showed you those yet. So they're all metal, metal clevises. Pretty stout. Should be good. Um, I should show you inside the fuselage. So here's down in the bottom. It's going to be your your area for everything. Your servos will obviously go here and your push rods. Uh, you can see there's little fake gear doors on here where the tail wheel is going to go. All the push rods are already ran, or the, what would you call it, push rod tubes. So we're going to have to cut these out where the elevator goes in here. But pretty cool looking finish. Everything came in good shape. Here's the firewall. Patch off so you can see what's in there. So pretty cool. Should be a lot of fun. So when we come back, we'll start doing the build John VH style, and uh, kind of show you step by step how I do it. If you guys watch my other videos, um, I try to try not to leave anything out. So we'll do it step by step. Let you know what I did, how I did, and tips and tricks. So. Like, comment, subscribe, check the links down below in the description, and let's get on to building. Okay, the manual said to start with the wing, but I am started with the tail surfaces a little bit, just kind of getting them prepped um, for tonight, so I don't... It's already had the fuse and everything on the table, but anyways, a little trick that I do, so you're going to have to glue these in. So I got these cleaned out, you take a real sharp razor knife, and if you push down in the slots, it'll kind of show you where to cut. So you get that done, then you put these in, in place. Whoop, let me take that off here. I'm trying to do it where I'm not looking right at it, it's kind of strange. So you put that in place, and then what I do is take something and just kind of score the outsides of that so you can kind of see. So you can take like a knife, but use not the sharp side, but the dull side, and just kind of go down the seam. Then it'll leave a little mark, and then you'll trim the covering off just below that a little bit. And leave a bit on the back because it hangs out just a smidge. So when you glue it, you got wood to wood glue in here, which is what you need. And a similar deal here with the elevator. So I put it in there, measured, got it centered, squared, triangulated, all that jazz. Then I scored it with the back side of my knife. You can see it doesn't cut it, it just leaves a mark. And then on this side, I put the tape to line up with the edge of the fuse. So I'll cut probably a you know eighth or a sixteenth inside of those so that you can't see the bare wood once it's glued on. Same thing on the bottom. So I'll cut just to the inside of those so once it's all glued together you won't see it. So that's how I do the tail feathers. Um, obviously you gotta have the wing on so you can get the elevator uh, level and uh, parallel with it. So I'm not gonna do any of the gluing until then but I'm just getting things prepped and getting things ready as I kinda pick and choose what little pieces I wanna do here and there right now. But um, we'll come back with the wing later. Okay, got the wing servos installed. That's where they want you to start. Um, since uh, I'm using full-size servos, I did have to take a Dremel and hog the holes out bigger to fit the full-size servos. Now for the control horns, the flaps, there's actually a slot in there. You can find it in the covering and it'll take a control horn like that. Now the aileron you're going to have to use one like this and you're going to have to drill the holes in the right spot so your arms are straight and then uh, bolt it through with a backing plate on the top of the aileron so once we get that done we'll be back okay here's how you're going to do your control arms you're going to have these little deals a washer it's threaded i put loctite on these then you'll have your top piece um, but you'll do it for all your servos. Um, got the control horns in, threaded through. Uh, I'll take something and nut, cut these off so they're flush. So it looks okay, but the next step will now will just be putting on the linkages, uh, which is pretty straightforward. I'll come back and show you once they're all on. But um, yeah, so far we're trucking along, going pretty easy. 
Okay, next up here, we're going to join the wings. Um, this was already center marked. I just put a pen mark on it. You want to make sure that the the V goes up, right? Because you got your dihedral. So you're going to smear epoxy all over that thing, both sides, all over the face of the wings together there. Slide them together, then tape a rubber band or whatever you got to do to hold them together while it dries and hold them square. So that's the next step, and we'll be back. Okay, everybody, here's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. I've got the wing is still over there. It's about hardened up, but I'm just going to leave it for the rest of the night. Um, but while I was waiting for that to dry, I went in the fuse here. And sorry for the light here, but I put these two servos in. The manual shows three if you're doing gas, but I'm not. So doing two, then they're going to have a splitter. So two will go to the rudder and tail wheel. Two will go to each elevator half here. So we still got to put in the tail wheel glue in the tail surfaces because we got to put the wing in first make sure the horizontal is parallel with that and then make sure the vertical is perpendicular to that so that'll be it um, in the meantime I made up a bunch of the linkages here got them ready ones for the back elevator and rudder and uh, yeah so you got to put two holes in this uh, you should have them big enough to fit your nylon screw heads through. It's going to be a tight one because that thing, once you put it on, is totally encased. So in order to get back in there afterwards, it might be a bit of a chore. So that's going to fit on the wing right here once we put the wing on. So we're getting there. Um, we'll get back at it tomorrow after work and see how far we get. See if we can get this baby done and flying this weekend. Okay, next day, um, the wing dried up nicely. I took my clamps and tape off. I just put it on the fuse, um, got it wing bolted down. Now you're going to CA on these little pods, and that's pretty much it for putting the wing on. Now I'll flip it over, get the horizontal so it's looking level to the wing, and I'll glue that in, and then the vertical. So we'll be back once they're done. Okay, that went easy. The horizontal was actually pretty good in line with the uh, wing, so I went ahead and glued that and then glued the vertical in, and I got the tail surfaces, elevator, rudder, um, all glued in as well. Just thin CA, you just wick it in the seams there after you get it all cut like I showed before. So that's it for the tail. Um, maybe I'll flip it over, get the tail wheel on there, but then we're going to start running the push rods and putting the linkages on and the control horns and then hooking them up to the servos so we're making some progress okay here's the tail wheel in place um, everything you're going to need is pretty simple pretty well labeled um, I slid the control rod in from here you kind of put a little bow in it you can get it started in there then you put the little linkage on and kind of slip it down in there and then put your wire through and yeah that's really it comes out here it's plenty long it's gonna go into a splitter with the rudder so yeah now we'll just uh, screw this little dude back in place and that is done okay here's the preliminary mock-up of the uh, here you'll have the elevator side here you'll have the rudder side you can see how I've got all the linkages on there sorry trying to do a spinny spinny on the camera so these you can push in these black tubes you can push in and out. I put a little bend in these to get the angles right. Um, this is the push rod I had for the rudder. And then in here you'll have to cut these off and you'll have to cut the wires to get everything to fit right. Um, I'd probably change the position of this servo. I'd move it over here so it just clears this and then run it on this side maybe to get a little more direct. I just bent these little push rods so it'll work and, it, and it's gonna work fine. You can see it moving. I can move it by hand. It doesn't take too much to do. So, anyway, it's not a big deal there. It's going to work great. Um, moving on towards the nose, this is kind of how they want you to set up the motor mount. It comes with these bolts and the other deal, and then the motor will mount onto here like so. I'm just kind of getting the spacing right. Um, 
what I'll probably do is get the fuselage hanging vertically and so I can just set the motor on there and then I'll put the cowl on, get it in place, carefully take the cowl off, mark where the bolt holes go, they'll go on these marks and uh, drill it on. So that's where I'm at now. Okay everybody, we've got the motor mounted. I think it's pretty close to where it's going to go once I get the cowl on. i got to do a final final, but I wanted to show you how I did it. So you take, in a wood package, there's this you know, a spacer, I guess you'd call it, or uh, electric firewall, whatever. Anyways, there, take these bolts. So what I kind of did is kind of eyeballed where it would go and did the first set of holes and then I put it vertically and put the cowl on in the motor and it wasn't quite right, so I had to do it a second time. That's where we're at now. Um, but I've got the spacing right. The firewall has built-in uh, thrust angle, so you want the same amount of space on all four legs so that it's the per parallel to the actual firewall. And then you'll get your motor in place and then screw it down. Now let me put it on my little mount here and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so I've got it just simply on a tripod here and I just stuck the handle in through there so I could have it sit here and I could get the motor sitting on there without a screw in it. And then I could flip the cowl on and see the positioning. And then I'd put, so I put the spinner back plate on, got it centered up on the hole here um, when it was on here, and then just very carefully took the spinner back plate off, took the cowl off, and then I marked where those holes were and screwed them on. And uh, that's it. Worked out pretty good. Um, pretty painless this way. If you hold things vertically, I've done this with 150cc giant scale 3D planes, so you can do it with anything. So I hope that's a helpful tip here. I'm going to keep trucking along. Um, so I'm going to put the cowl on and put the screws in for the cowl and get that mounted and done. And then it'll be just, i got to get the EC, or uh, sorry, the um, speed control in. I might mount that here. It seems like a pretty good spot. And um, run wires for the battery in here. And then we'll get the receiver in and start setting up the radio. And uh, we're getting pretty close. Okay, I've got the cowl mounted. I just put these little silver screws in the cowl. And yeah, as you can see, it fits up pretty well. So there we go. That's as easy as it gets. Okay, we've got the motor, everything blue Loctited, got the speed control on. Um, the speed control didn't have any connectors, so I just soldered it up. Got the motor going the right way. Got it hooked to a six channel receiver here. Got all these Loctite and everything good to go there. So I'm going to get the cowl mounted on there and be done with that. And then I'll be setting up the linkages on the wings, the elevator and flaps, and test running the gear. So that'll be the next step. Okay, I've got the wing on. I cycled the retracts. They work good. I'm getting the linkages set up and centered, getting flap throws and stuff done. Um, you can see kind of how everything's going to go here. So we're getting there. I just got to get everything working right and get my throws and then figure out where the battery's got to go for CG. There's not a lot of options, so I hope we don't have to add much weight, but we'll find out tomorrow. Okay, everybody, good morning. We're on the final countdown here. Got the cowl mounted. I'm getting the prop and spinner. I had to clearance the back edges here for the prop that I have. Um, here's the prop I have. Links will all be down below in the description of the video for everything I use. Um, the prop with the blick, the angle on it to get it to clearance, I had to put a oops, had to put a little tiny washer underneath it there. So I used a little dab of CA to the back plate, the washer, and then to the prop just to keep those things from spinning. Um, and then the usual here and a little blue Loctite on the nut. So I'll just bop that thing in place. And we're going to have the spinner on. So next we're going to flip it over. Uh, i got the control throws all done. I just need to clean up the linkages. I'm going to trim the extras off here. But everything is set up. Flaps, aileron, throws, uh, expo, yada yada. Uh, the CG points are here. You can see them there. The manual says it's 132 millimeters. Comes out to be 5.19 inches. And then here's your surface throws. It just gives one rate, so I use these for my low rate and set up triples because aileron six millimeters is not very much. Um, this is 10 millimeters here, so, anyways, it's pretty little. 
flyer on the trusty IX-12, link down below to my Amazon store. So, gear worked good, everything's looking good. So I'm going to clean up the bottom, just put a couple screws in the prop spinner there, flip it over and stick the battery in there, locate the receiver and see if it'll bounce. So, we're getting so close. Okay, all here it is. It's ready for a CG test. Um, here's what we did for the battery. I put Velcro on the top of the wing, shoved it in back there, all the way up. There's a little former back in there as far as it'll go. I got my receiver up here and a remote receiver over here on the side. But So there's where the battery went. I put the plane upside down and shook it pretty good. I don't see that coming loose. There's quite a bit of Velcro on there. Uh, we got the spinner and stuff on, looking good. Now for the balance, initially, here's what I had to do. I had to stick some weights just because I'm on a time crunch here for the weather. Um, maybe I'll do something a little cleaner, but we'll see how it goes for the Maiden. This gets it in spec for the CG in the book. So I had to put four of these little quarter ounce. So it took one ounce in the tail. Now inside here, there is a former. Back behind there, it's against. I didn't want to take the wing off again, but you could probably knock that out and get the battery back a little further. I don't know if it'd be enough uh, to fix that CG, but um, not a big deal. So this is it. I'm going to drop the gear. We go outside, do a range check. If all is well, GB Linden and I are going to go fly this bad boy. So stay tuned. Okay, range check was good. I almost forgot one little thing. There comes with these little fairings you have to kind of trim out and glue on. So. I just CA'd those babies on with a little kicker. Sorry, that one's kind of hard to see, but there's a double on this side. There we go. Anyway, yeah, so we're good to go. You can see the gear up here, see what it looks like. Yep. Okay, here we go, guys. She's totally done. Got the stickers on. I almost forgot about the stickers. Got the Berlin Express. Up there, some symbols and stuff here and there. Cool looking bird. This side here gets a few more. So you got your bunch of bombs and then the little train deal there. So pretty cool looking. Looks really good. I'm excited to go and fly it.